All right, this is the uh, Tennessee End of Course Practice Test for Algebra 1. This is question number 20. I had originally uh, made a video of question number 20, and it was not very good. One of my students, Cody, said that it was confusing, and he was right, it was confusing. So I thought that I would reshoot it a little bit. Question number 20 says, Marcel has a data set for which the mean is 33. Each value in the data set is multiplied by 5. The key issue here is the question says that each of the uh, data points are multiplied by 5. So each value is multiplied by 5. That's an important point here. What is the mean for the new data set? Now, when I have mean, median, and mode, and I'm collecting information about it, and they just say that each point in the data set is changed in a certain way, that actually changes either the mean, the median, or the mode by the same amount. For instance, in this question it says the mean is 33. If each of the data or all the data uh, points are changed in the same way, which in this case is multiplied by 5. All you have to do is multiply the original uh, measure, which is mean, by 5. Because it says 33 is the mean, I'm going to multiply everything by 5. So to get the answer, I do 33 times 5. So in any situation where you have uh, some set of data and they say all the values are changed in the same way. Now if certain values are changed in certain ways and certain values are changed other ways, you're going to have to make a couple lists. And I think there's a problem about uh, related to that. Maybe question number 32 and there's a video for that as well. But if all of the data is changed in the same fashion, you can take the original measure and just multiply it by 5. Let's, you know, let's do a little quick sample to prove that that's true. So the mean is 3, which is the average. So if I just pick numbers that are balanced out uh, going away from 33, so say I go 1 down from 33 and pick 32. Well, to balance that, I'm going to go 1 up for 33 and pick 34. And I'm going to pick two more uh, data points, so I go down 2 to 31 and up 2 to 35. I'm going to find the mean for this. Now you can go into the list. Uh, it depends on how your calculator does it to find out what the list is. But it's easier in this case for me to just show you by adding all the numbers together and dividing by how many there are. So I'm going to add all these up, divide by 5. Your calculator probably has a way to do it as a list, so if you're comfortable doing it that way, just do it. But I'm going to do 31 plus 32 plus 33 plus 34, plus 35, and hit enter, and then I'm going to divide by 5 because there's 5 total terms. So my mean, of course, is 33, which makes a lot of sense. Now what I'm going to do is multiply each term by 5 just like it says in my uh, original problem. So I do 31 times 5, so I get 155. 32 times 5 is 160. 33 times 5 is 165, seeing a pattern. 34 times 5 is 170. And of course, um, I was thinking ahead, of course 35 times 5 is 175. Now I'm just going to do a mean value for this. So add all the numbers on top together and divide by 5. 155 plus 160 plus 165 plus 170 plus 175. Hit enter. And then I'm going to divide that number by 5. Da -da -da -da, 165, just like I thought it should be. But that was just to sort of prove that this worked. If you want to do the short way to do it, because you know you don't have maybe the attention span to sit through an entire long test, so it's quick. It's nice to get a couple quick ones out of the way. Anytime you have a measure of central tendency, which would be mean, median, or mode, uh, and you're going to change each value by the same amount, everything gets multiplied by five. Then all you have to do is take that measure, multiply by five, or whatever it said to do, and then that would be your answer. So I hope this made it much more clear than the original. Uh, explanation. It's a little bit longer this time, but I think it was worth the effort.